get out of here. Hasn't there been enough death? What the what? Shot her in the ass. <laughs> Wait, what did that say? Oh. It's not all that interesting. I love how people just have random conversations in front of you and ignore the fact that you're pulling switches and all that fun stuff. Ooh, sparkly. Really sparkly. What did that do? Anything? Okay. This couldn't be empty. Be too nice of them to let me just walk up and get what I want. Just freaking die. Seriously. Now give me back all the arrows. needs to be charged again. No, don't want that. Yep. Hello. Probably don't need to go in here. Thinking no. The crimson Nurn Root? That's new. Danger hurt.
Okay, well, so wasn't a total bust coming in here. this way. Keep following it. Ew! Such a pretty place. Flowing mushroom trees. Whoa. gonna stand there and let me kill them? Oh, not that one. Done and done. Crimson Nerve Root. It's four. I like how they added that sound for you to be able to find Nern Root easier in this game. But I haven't really found any good use for it. Like when you found it before in Oblivion, it was kind of like, oh my god, yeah, that's part of that quest. But I haven't really found anything like that in this one. I guess maybe the Crimson stuff might be. Well, definitely is because I started a quest when I picked up the first one. There we go. A switch. Rana didn't look like she was actually standing on that. She probably would have got squat. Ooh! Shiny! Big circle. Dead end. 
so we've learned not go that way. <laughs> if you guys play this, don't do that. Go left instead. Left is right. Uh, I think that's the thing, but I have to look around here. I have to. Apparently there's nothing. Okay. I did that. supposed to make this match somehow? Oh! Pushing random buttons. Get you an elder scroll. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'm sure there was some actual trick to that puzzle, but whatever. And now we're back at the camp, but I'm going to fast travel because... Just because. It's easier. I mean, come on. Do you really want to see me run all this way over here? I wouldn't. One of these days, you guys are gonna come to life, and I'm not gonna like you for it. Turning to the castle, the castle, the castle. Loading. Loading? How about now? Please. Must be something big happening. If there's not, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Everything must be burnt when this loads now. 
No. This is very disappointing. Oh well, let's bring it to this guy. Who's blindfolded yes. now? How may I serve you, my lady? I am afraid I won't be able to help you with the scrolls any longer, my lady. Please do not be angry with me. I'm afraid in my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the time I needed to prepare. The failure is purely mine to bear. As you can see from my bandages, it's not that I am unwilling, it's that I am physically unable. Oh, please, milady, please forgive me. If only such a miracle existed, I'd overcome the impossible in order to secure it, if it meant pleasing you. Although I would gladly die by your hand, perhaps I could offer an alternative way to read the scrolls. Oh, thank you, milady. Thank you. Just do Scattered it. across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn canticle? attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Of course. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Hmm. I'm not interested in anything else you have to say. Fortune smile upon you, my lady. Hmm. I'm curious what that would do, but for now we'll leave it be. And uh yeah, so next time we'll go and find some moths. <laughs> See you guys.